Hey guys, hope you're having a terrific day wherever you are in the world. And welcome to the Lil Simsy shell challenge that I'm incredibly late to the party on. But that's because I didn't know how to build this house. I didn't know how to do anything with this shell. So I ended up just having to do generic suburban house. And I don't like generic suburban house building. I'm not good at it. And I just, everything's either too big or too small. Or I have a billion rooms. But we had this shell also that bloody diagonal bit really really annoyed me and I just didn't know how to do it for most of the uh most of the time but I managed to build with this house it took like an hour and a half I think overall it took a while because I had to get like oh the windows right I had to figure out where rooms were gonna go the roof killed me because of the diagonal bit but it turned out pretty pretty well in the and this one a hell of a challenge, little Simsy. I mean, you're a great builder, but this one was just like, I don't even know. I just struggled so bad with it. But I ended up going with very generic suburban household. There's no CC. I don't use CC on builds that get uploaded to the gallery because, you know, what else, what's the point? Uh, but I made like this cute little blue uh, kitchen. I use the parent pack. If I'm going generic suburban, I think like the kids' rooms, the toddler rooms packs... And like the parenting pack and maybe, I think I used Seasons or Get Famous. I used a lot of the more realistic based packs because they just worked a little bit better for this situation. Yeah, I did a lot of parenting pack for this because it actually worked really well, especially just for the kitchen area. It looked nice and I said generic because I was just going for generic for this whole theme. I was just like, I need to build a house with this shell because it's been bugging me for months. Let's do... Uh, get, like, let's start with a fun little witchy house. Did not work. Let's start with a cool science house. Did not work. Every idea I had just didn't work. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do the most generic suburban thing I can think of. I mean, I don't really live in a very generic suburban area. Actually, I kind of do. I live in a... Well, I live near a main road. That's about it, really. But I don't... Like, I've never really grown up in these kind of houses. My house I lived in as a kid was actually really small. Which is why I think I a lot of my builds are quite big. Because I was one of those kids, like, I had a small room, but I had a lot of stuff. And a lot of that stuff is still at home because I live in a small flat now and I don't have enough room for all my stuff. I have so much geek stuff at home. But I had, like, this really cool idea for... There's a lot of blues in this. There's a lot of blues, a lot of very light colours. And I just felt like that kind of suited the theme of the house a bit more. Because, like, that... Um, I think I went with that... Uh, linoleum tile in the end which kind of worked i think that orange linoleum tile set worked it just sort of fitted with the blue it was a nice contrast i think i sort of do all the decorations near to the end of this because i was more focused on just getting all the furniture down than i could decorate with all the tiny little bits and bobs and clutter and decal as i went i think there was still like some bits where i didn't finish things this was like the uh the opening the hallway where you turn straight off into the kitchen or you go into the living room. There's like two ways around there. But annoy what annoyed me about this was uh, just the way it was only three walls. And you can't move that wall. So I had to try and figure out like how I could put some space down. And also just figure out what could work in that situation. And having to move that damn umbrella around annoyed me so much. Because it's like there was nowhere for it to go. There was nowhere for it to go. And the, like, the drawers there kind of kept clashing with the doorway. Put the cute little uh, welcome mat there. And then I used those uh, mason lights from Parenthood. Because I just like those. They look nice. They look nice and also they're high enough that, you know, it doesn't feel like your sims are going to be walking into them and smacking their heads into lampshades all the time. Although this was a pretty fun build to do in the end. A bit of a challenge, definitely. Especially when it came to doing the stairs, as you'll see here. Because I'm thinking, oh, did they go here? No, there's no way they can go here because of the way... The top's been laid out. They actually go across from one of the uh, doorways for the kitchen. That was the only way I could get it to work. But then it clashed with the diagonal roof. Because every time I pushed the roof in, it got rid of the stairs. That was where my problem was. And I was having to really try hard to try and get this to work. But in the end, it turned out pretty, pretty well. I thought maybe putting it there, but then there wasn't enough space. Moving the fireplace around. Because we thought there has to be a fireplace there. It was like a good sort of suggestion to put the fireplace in this little like nook here. Because you can't move that wall. So figure we'll just put the uh, we'll put a fireplace there. This is end up where the stairs going. Because it actually works really well. Because then it makes a sort of biggish hallway. 
but not in like too small or too big, but allow me to put in a decently sized bathroom and two bedrooms. So this house being generic suburban house, as I called it, uh, is what is um it's ideally suited for three sims, two parents and a child is kind of the idea I was going for. It's but more like, because normally when I make kids rooms, I design it for more teenagers rather than kids. I figured I'd try and do a kids thing. There's still a lot of stuff I haven't explored with a lot of the packs, specifically the scouting career from Seasons and the drama club uh, career from uh, Get Famous. I haven't really used those, so I actually utilized the little uh, board from the scouting career put in the kids' bedroom. Again, I love these hardwood floors. These are just really nice hardwood floors. I thought, yeah, I, I chose that nice modern uh fireplace as well with the tv above it i thought that was actually quite a nice little way to get a tv in without having having to take up space but putting it above the fireplace also helped helped it like brought the room together nice blue wallpaper uh using these nice seasonal lights i tried that and then i used these uh cool little paper lanterns ones because they look nice and again sims aren't gonna be smacking their heads into it which was one of the fears i was having windows i had a bit of trouble with because there was a lot of places where I could put windows, but I just didn't know where to put them. And there's like a couple of places where it's like, yeah, the windows work here and here. I'm using those Get Famous ones where I gave made them blue with the white uh, trimming because that actually worked pretty well. And then, of course, standing light here worked really well because it sort of filled out the living room a little bit more. I add um, those toddler bookcases and I put where that window is on the side there, I put a desk for, I'd say the mother, she works from home maybe, while the dad does a, a goes out to work. Maybe he does like he's in the business career. He's like an investor or a banker or something. The mum does a lot of work at home. She's kind of stay at home, work at home. Uh, mum, the kid goes off to school, does their after school activities. And I use the, uh, yeah, I think it was, the, yes, the kids' room bookcases here. Just because it looks really cool. And they've got those little, like, uh, those baskets in there. So it fills it out and it looks like they've still got things stored away and stuff. Then I was using, uh, obviously, the that freelance update pack and uh, desk and stuff. That looks really cool. The poofy uh, little square, the Ottoman poof thing from Tiny Living. I don't know what they're called. I think they're called poofs. I just know my aunt had one of those. But it was like a leather one, I think. Oh, no, it was like a round one. Yeah, it was like a round knitted one. My mum has one as well. I don't know if she still has it, but it was like a... Uh, it's basically like a footrest kind of thing. You could sit on them or you could put your feet up on them. I remember putting my feet up on it quite a bit. Again, putting like a... Uh, filling this bit out here, thought I'd turn it into a sort of like... Before you go into the outdoors, uh, into the back garden kind of thing. So I put a nice little uh, plant there because I don't utilise plants enough. Using, I think I used the laundry day pack in the end they get because that looks really well. It just sort of suited what I was going for with this sort of... You can sort of like, yeah, they're going out. There's a bit of space. It... Cl it filled up the space nicely and then I put another rug down and I had trouble with the rugs because some of the rugs were just blending into the uh, hardwood flooring and some of them were too big. One of them I found that was really perfect and I think I shrunk it which is why it worked quite well. I think it was this one? Yeah, this one I shrunk it down and it fitted it really nicely. So you got the downstairs looking really well, it still needed to be decorated. Then I moved on to upstairs. Upstairs I had a bathroom here where I put one window because there was enough space for it. Then I had to also put all the uh, put all those goddamn windows down. And the windows I had trouble with because I couldn't figure out how big the bedrooms needed to be. Because I ended up with a fairly big uh, adult bedroom with not a lot to it. But the kids' bedroom got like decorated quite nicely. There was a lot I could do with it. And the bathroom, the bathroom I also had fun with because I was able to... I moved the door a little bit later because I had the shower, the bathtub, the sink, and well, the sink I actually do use the parenting uh, cab uh, tables counters like I did in the kitchen, and put the little round sink on them, and then was able to use that to decorate because I think that's like a really clever uh, sort of way to clutter up your bathrooms is to put these counters on, and then just sort of fill it with stuff. Fill it with stuff. I also use the tiny living toilet. I'm also kind of. Uh, wish that Tiny Living had given us a sort of toilet sink combo that I've seen people do. Uh, and also I wanted to use these uh, immaculate shelves with the plain swatches. I think, did I change them to, yeah, I changed them to white because the plain white swatches just worked really well with the bathroom. So I was going for a nice light bathroom 
sort of feel using the parenting tiles. I use a lot of the parenting uh, game pack. So if you have that one, this light will make the the place turn out really, really nicely. And I have every pack, which I'm looking forward to seeing what the next expansion pack is going to be. I've, I have a feeling it'll be out in April, maybe June. Because they, it's currently, they're like, I think they're in the end of it. And then they're going to release the trailer and then the speculations and then date release dates and then everyone's going to be like freaking out and then we're going to be doing preemptive builds and then it's going to come out and then people are probably going to be disappointed with uh, builds or items or animations because whoever's happy i get happy with a lot of things a lot of things i do feel need to be done better we rag on devs for some of their builds but here's the thing i'm having to, i'm currently uh remaking i completely bulldozed the charm house in my disney princess challenge save because I'm redoing the house to make a sort of chateau for uh, Cinderella for her part of the story. And God, it makes me... Like, I thought that the charm house was actually really, really good. It was a really nicely designed place, even if it was a little bare bones in terms of, like, uh, furniture and stuff. But the design of it was really, really good. I even used that, like, if you saw my Realm of Magic one, every time Sagittarius Blackwood went over to his parents' house, that was the house. I had to evict the charm family for that save, but... It was just a really nicely designed house. It just had not a lot to it. But more to the point, I think the shells are the more important things when it comes to building the houses. If you get a good shell, you can then make a really good like house out of it. And I think the shell, well, the star home in Glimmerbrook, eh, that's kind of generic, basic, something you need to be able to afford and to before you get to the others. The elixir and brews actually look pretty good. The okay, so the the house that the acolytes live in, good shell to look at, but yeah, I kind of see. It is kind of funny that they forgot a door, and they got stairs just leading up to a wall. That's kind of funny. And the charm family house actually does look really nice shell wise, but it does need a bit more in terms of design. Same with Strangerville, great shells, just they need better decorations inside. <laughs> they need better decorations inside but the shells are good except maybe for one of the starters in strangeville that one was just kind of basic but if it's a good shell you can do a lot with it and this was actually like Lil simsy's shell here was actually really good to work with but it was just so tricky everything else i i could figure out it was just that diagonal bit it's the diagonal bit with the roof that was my problem because i didn't know what to do with it essentially also this uh bedroom i made it quite gender neutral when i think about it i used a lot of greens i used a lot of greens for it but i made it like it's a really nice like little little bedroom because it could be it can be suited for a boy or a girl like they've got like the little beds they got uh yeah i used that uh the that that one there with the five colors the little paint swatch looking rug use that one expand it put some decorations down I have a Void Critters pack. I can't remember where I found that, but that's really cool because I think it allows you to buy the Void Critter packs. The Void Critter uh, trading card things. Which I also, again, something I haven't utilised. There's things I haven't utilised that I really should in the game because I feel like I'm missing out on loads of content that's just right in front of me. But we've got like a cute little desk here. And I want it, again, I want to fill it up with things. But sometimes, sometimes it's good to fill with things, sometimes not so much. Uh, using that, that was kind of fun. Oh god, I'm so tired. Sorry. Oh, well, it's up late last night. Spoons. Gotta love spoons. Uh, not spoons as in the things you eat with. Spoons is like the shorthand for a weather spoons that me and my friends go to. So if I say oh, I'm going spoons, people don't like people understand that if I call it the actual name of the uh, place. But that'll give away where I live. That'll give it away. <laughs> That'll give it away which uh, location I live in. Also, I had to put these butterflies on because I love the butterflies. But yeah, go in your local spoons. Go in your local spoons. I've actually made, you guys, if you watch Rama Magic, you saw my Elixir and Brews remake that a bunch of people might have gone to slightly. I really need to send someone back there at some point. But I designed it after my weather spoons that I go to a lot because there's a really great balcony bit that we always like book out and eat in. Because there's always a lot of us. There's always like 20 of us at least going every week on a Tuesday night. The guy, like the management there knows us now. And they're really nice to us. They make sure we're okay. We did not check to see if we booked for next week. Okay. <laughs> just things I've just realized. But yeah, this is the parents' bedroom. 
fridge. Like now you see me getting into decorating the bathroom because clutter away. I have lots of CC bathroom clutter that's so cool that I'd love to use, but people don't have it. It's like, ah, uh, you guys might not have it. You guys might not use CC stuff. I don't use a lot of my CC uh, like furniture anyway. Like there's a lot of good things, but a lot of stuff I just don't use because it might, it just stops clashing. It just starts clashing with all just the rest of the EA stuff. Because all the EA stuff's great and I love using it. But I need more clutter. Speaking of clutter, the knitting pack stuff, which again, I'm going to do a video on it. I need to find all the pictures for all the voting stuff. I think Sims Community might have all articles in them so I can look over them. But I want that knitted Grim Reaper. I want that knitted Grim Reaper. I want that soft plushy little Grim with his little scythe so I can put him on a shelf and be like, look at this cute little freaking toy that I can knit. Also, the knitted cactus things look good already because I've actually got uh, cactus doorstops, which have look really good. They're not knitted. They're like kind of felt felt ones with a big like sand bag to sort of keep them grounded. So they're not falling about everywhere, but they keep the doors open and they're cute and they're kitschy and they just look nice. And now I'm decorating the downstairs. I keep going off on tangents all the time, but I keep bringing myself back to because it's all related. It's all related. I'm now decorating the kitchen. Using this, uh, so what you do is you use BB move objects on, and then you move the counter, and everything floats then, so you can move it around, get it right, and then you can push everything back, and it's normally in the right place. After I use those tea things, that's normally from get together, normally suit for coffee shops, but I just love the idea that there are people who just be like, I have five different variations of tea, which one would you like? It's also kind of a British thing. I think you go to a tea aisle in Britain, and there's just like so many options. So many options. One of my favourites to drink is Lapsang Sushong tea, which is really nice and it tastes very smoky. It smells very smoky too. It's a really good little tea. Little tea. It's like a black tea as well, so it's kind of healthy as well. Also use that cute little farming picture from Seasons. I like that one because of all the canvases. And then going to the outside, we've got basic brick. Again, I'm having to go generic for this. I'm having to think, what's the most generic kind of house I could do? And this, like, siding stuff really works. I mean, where I live, everything's normally brick or, like, a smooth sort of uh, spackle kind of design. But, again, yeah, you saw what just happened there. But uh, I put that roof on, and it completely took away my stairs. And you can see the stairs highlight every time. So I'm thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? And then I think, screw it. I'm putting a gnome there. I'm putting a gnome there. I'm going to put a little, like railing there and put a gnome there as just a as just a reminder of the shame that is this goddamn there's this goddamn roofing thing and it was just like oh man this bit here was kind of fun to do doing this little uh, uh the roofing here it's the first time i've done roofing that's looked really decent this looks really decent this roofing here get into the garden and it's not gonna be very long to do the garden stuff again putting just sort of the little side roofs and stuff along the edges, because a lot of this was just like extra space and stuff. I feel like I like to do very bricky kind of squarish kind of houses because I like everything to be kind of neat. But it does seem like you do like you do need these kind of things just to bring some like personality to the houses. Though I did do too do too bad a job. I mean, I'm still proud of Grandma Loretta's place. That's like one of my favorite builds I've done. I have so many builds I've done. Maybe I'll show you my builds in the gallery at some point. I'll go take you through my world rebuild save, which is basically where I do all my experimental builds. Yeah, I had trouble here. This didn't work out very well. This just looked really odd when I was doing this. But I'll take you through that save at some point. You can see some of the builds I've done. because I've done a lot. They're all on the gallery. The If you go onto my gallery and go onto my lots, the one that's been downloaded the most is my 8-bit bowling bar. Which is basically just a regular bar, and then I put a bowling alley in the bottom, bar in the top, but it's kind of also retro looking. And it's got like a cool uh, rainbow sort of wallpaper inside, and then walls outside. It's just cool looking, and I had so much fun building that one. Got really popular. Got really popular as well. And then, the house is looking decent, but that goddamn roof there is just the one that just irritates me. Because everything else looks fine. If that roof wasn't there, uh, everything could have been perfect. Then I just changed the doors around. I used that parenting door for the kids room but then it just didn't match and then here comes the fun part doing the garden there wasn't a lot to the garden there wasn't a lot to the garden now that i think about it i put like a couple trees in i put some of the patio stuff in there because i figured that looks really good 
the idea that they like to barbecue in the summer maybe trying to put these trees down was the hardest part because i didn't know what trees would go in newcrest yeah this is i built this in newcrest and you've got just like trying to do some like this worked yeah this stone pathing path worked and then i just pulled these down but you couldn't take it all the way to the end so it's kind of stuck there and looks a bit odd but then i just put some grass down i think i got rid of the grass as well yeah got rid of the grass put down some flowers here just underneath the uh this bit because it just felt kind of appropriate just some flowers at the front and then i put some more flowers near the back the pathways uh putting the little uh mailbox this little uh, seasonal mailbox here and the nice blue shade to match the rest of the blue themed uh the bins over here again always use two bins because in britain i can see right outside technically we have like three four bins we have a landfill bin a bin with a blue lid which is for paper and cardboard a green bin which is for all our recycling glass tin cans plastics all of that and then we've got a little brown bin which is a food bin which is for all food waste so we try and we're trying to be good we sadly did not get a we only just recently got a little green bin for our recycling but other than that it's very hard to where we live get bins properly so i always try and make sure that my bins at least reflect how i see a lot of british like sort of how we sort of define our bins define our bins we do them by colors we do them by what kind of things you put into them because we separate all our garbage essentially and i put that little cute uh, i put the i put the washing line down but that's only because like that i don't have the uh i don't have a washing machine in the house so there was really no point to that but i just put it there because it just you know what like a generic suburban house has a washing line in the backyard also put the little bike down i thought that'd be cute like the kids little bike although the kids can't use bikes which is kind of stupid kind of stupid devs what, what's the point of giving us bikes if kids can't use it and then yeah trying to figure out what to do here so i was just like you know what screw it, let's just paint that bit here put a railing here and then put a gnome well i was thinking about maybe putting plants there but then i grabbed just like a random gnome just this gnome here it's the shame gnome he lives there and he has to deal with the fact that he will be stuck there forever because of the way the stupid little diagonal roof worked because it kept clashing with my stairs and this is basically the house again i just had to fix this bit it kind of looked odd but it sort of worked yeah that actually looked a lot better when i did that and then just putting all the uh putting all the little lips around there and it's coming along nicely it looks pretty decent here we had a lot of space here and no windows so i was figured i figured i'd do the put the patio set down use the perfect patio stuff make a nice little sort of like relaxation area with the little coffee table the the uh oh god the sofas the little lantern these little lights just some lights for the uh walls so it lights the area up just a little bit and then i put a table down and i found the baby yoda statue i don't use it because i don't watch the mandalorian i don't have disney plus i can't get disney plus i don't think at least not yet in the uk but eh, i've not seen the mandalorian so baby yoda's not that interesting to me even though it's a giant meme but the garden came along pretty nicely here i think it looks great personally but then again i went generic i had to do generic because i just didn't know what to do with this build but you know what generic turned out pretty well i'm gonna leave you with the images now they look pretty pretty decent if you like this build download it it'll now be available on the gallery by the time this video goes up it'll also be uh you can comment like subscribe do all of that stuff uh let me know what if you want me to do other builds because i really like doing builds and cast sims and i want to do more from that because otherwise i feel like i'm just going to lose my mind going over the same saves over and over again cinderella's coming soon i just have to finish building that goddamn house it's gonna be hard i haven't i still haven't finished it i'm only on the second floor now the only part i like about it is the tower but if you like this video give it a like give it a comment give it a subscribe if you're new and you've just found me wandering through all the sims videos and also i'll see y'all in the next video bye bye now